All right, here we go. This one is going to be a 10 millimeter test. And we're going to be trying out the SIG V Crown. That is 180 grain and advertised at 1250. So that's what this one looks like. It does have that nickel plate of brass. Nice wide hollow point cavity. It's not the deepest, but usually when we test it, it does really good. So we'll be going out of this full size five inch Rock Island Ultra FS with the G10 grips. And we do have our gel today. So this is a 10% block. We do have our jug backstop just in case we do get that pass through. And our four layers of cotton t-shirts. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like always, we will set that chronograph up um, in front of this gel. So hopefully we can get that impact velocity. And we'll see what this thing can do. Here we go. All right, here we go. We are stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So our impact velocity on that was 1365. So that is not too bad. Um, normally when I do test those, we are getting well over 1300 feet per second. So pretty good. So that definitely is a full house, full power, 10 millimeter load. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So first we will check it out from the top. Definitely looks like a nice stretch cavity on that. And our entry hole. So that did quite a bit of damage. You can actually see down in there, just like with that uh, last 45 that we tested, is a big hole. So entry hole, nice huge star pattern on that thing. Let's see if we can get a measurement from the top. Doesn't look too wide from the top. We are only at two and a quarter on the top, but that's still not bad. And we do have a leaker, so we definitely made it through. And let's see, there is that permanent stretch cavity on that thing. Doing all kinds of damage on that. You can definitely see some fragments that are left behind. And uh, it actually made it all the way through, made it through this first jug, and then bounce off the second, so it was laying on the ground. But uh, let's see if we can get this measurement on this one. So it basically is all the way down to the table and to the top. We are at two and three quarter inches. So not too bad. And uh, this one looks like as soon as it came in, probably quarter inch or less that it started expanding. It came in and just blew up. That is a huge cavity. So what we'll do is we'll flip this thing over so you can get a better look at that cavity. And we'll see what this round looks like. All right, before I show you that round, I just want to show you that stretch cavity again. Huge spiral star cut pattern in that. Looks like uh, we did blow out the block a little bit. So we might have to start molding bigger blocks, especially for these uh, bigger rounds. They're definitely dumping a lot of energy. But uh, we'll check this out. It does have a huge stretch cavity on that one. That is definitely looking good. Let's see what that round looks like. There we go. So this one did really, really good. Got some major expansion. Pretty much went to its breaking point. Did get that picture perfect. Expansion on that one, I guess kind of picture perfect. It did uh, Blow it to pieces. We lost a few petals on that and those two that are left folded right over that base So we got some major expansion And usually when we test on the jugs it kind of does the same thing too. So But uh, that did do pretty good. That one was moving pretty fast too at 1365 feet per second. So like always, we'll put our steel shots and we'll try to get that steel frame of this gel stretch cavity. But uh, not too bad. Did get quite a bit of penetration on this one too. And that is 180 grain. So there we go. That was a SIG V Crown 10 millimeter. All right, check it out. Here's the cross section for that one. Huge cuts in there. And that perfect star pattern cutting really really deep and down into that same with this other side huge i'm pretty sure this one was just over three inches but 
doing a lot of damage in that gel. But this side you can really see it just cut down in super deep. So we're going to split this thing. Actually, before I split it, I'm going to show just the side view. There's a couple uh, copper petals in there, but massive energy dump in that one. Came in and just pretty much exploded. Well, let's cut it now. All right, and this way you can really tell the damage on that thing. Doing a lot of damage coming in. So this was our entry hole. You see it kind of hollowed it out right there and then just blew up. Rip this thing. This is barely hanging on. There's a pedal right there. And there's a little bit of cloth right there too, but look how deep that thing is cutting. Doing a lot of damage on that gel. And same thing on this top half. Let's see if we can move this over a little bit. But this top half is the same way. Just came in. Super deep cuts. A lot of that cotton t-shirt down in there. But that thing had quite a bit of energy too. I think it was going about 1365 at the 180 grain. So definitely full power load. Just coming in and doing all kinds of damage.